Hi, my name is Mike, and uh, I'm going to do a little project here. It's basically something I'm going to do to test out my camera and to load something onto YouTube. It's not going to mean much, but uh, if you don't know how to use some basic hand tools, I'll show you how to do that. I have a couple of um, metal pieces that um, I bought for my lathe, and these slide into a slot in the lathe but you have to lock it into position and normally there's set screws that go in these two holes well it didn't come with the set screws I've got one here as an example maybe I can show you I don't know if that's clear enough but there's a little uh, allen head screw in this one unfortunately the two I have are not the right size so I'm gonna make one or actually make two I've already made a couple for one of my uh, plates and here's one of them and I just made them out of a bolt. And they, everything on this lathe happens to be metric. And so I have a couple metric, small metric bolts here. They're six millimeter in diameter. And I know that by measuring it here. Let me turn on my calipers here. Let's see, it's set to zero. You can see that. If you measure it, uh, it'll be about, about six millimeters not quite because it, it's been the threads have been cut on it so it's just under six millimeters so it's six millimeters and there's another tool that probably a lot of you have never seen this this is a little metric uh, thread gauge they make them in standard as well um, and it's got little little blades and they've got different teeth cut in them and they've got a mark on them that shows how many teeth per millimeter. I happen to know that this bolt is one millimeter, so this one says 1.0. And if you put it on the the bolt, it'll fit right in the right in the threads. And they match up perfectly. So that's one thread per millimeter. If I went to a different, let's say I go, I would go to a bigger uh, a bigger one that won't match up. Let's say I went to a 1.75. It it doesn't fit in the slots. So all I have to do is match it up to the right number of uh, teeth that go into your thread size, and you can actually tell how many threads per millimeter. Okay. So I'm going to make these little set screws out of a couple bolts. And the way I'm going to do that is to use uh, a hacksaw and a metal file. And I have a couple other things to show you here with that as well. Okay, the first thing I want to do is uh, on the end of this uh, bolt, it's not flat. It's not a flat surface. It's kind of concave. And I want to make it fairly flat. So I'm going to file it off with a file. And then I'm also going to taper the edge of the the flat end so that when you screw it in it kinda guides it and doesn't get caught on any one thread if it's a sharp edge. So I'm gonna remove the sharp edge as well so you don't cut your finger on it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, mount it in a vise over here. Let's see here. So I'm mounting it in the vise and um, I'm just going to take my file and file it off flat. And notice I'm cutting on the forward stroke only. That's the way you should use a file. I don't always abide by that rule, but that's the way you should do it. And now I've got a flat surface on there. The next thing I'm going to do is clean up the edge where I said it's sharp. It's not quite flat. There. I'm going to kind of go around at a 45 degree angle, making a light cut on both sides. And that made it nice and tapered on the edge so it won't get caught when it goes in the hole and it won't cut you. The next thing I need to do is actually cut it to length like this one I already made. Well, actually, before I do that, I'm going to cut a slot into it. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to cut a slot like right here that a screwdriver can fit into so that I can tighten it down. 
So the next tool I'm going to use is a uh, hacksaw. And normally the hacksaw uh, cuts on the forward stroke. Um, so anyway, I'm going to hold it with my hand here and get it started. You take real light cuts, you just kind of guide it with your hand to begin with. And normally if you put it on a slight angle and get the cut started, it'll work easier. Well, I got a pretty good start there. Now I'm going to flatten out. Cut down deep enough for the screwdriver to fit in, and that's, that's probably good enough. Yeah, that looks good. Now the other thing I have to do is, since I cut that, I'm going to have to clean up those threads just a little bit. So I have a another file that is uh, actually triangular in shape, and it's made for cleaning up uh, threads. And I'm just going to run it next to that slot to clean up the rough area that the hacksaw created. So it'll fit in the hole once it goes in. There. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is actually cut it off. Okay, I'm going to take the hacksaw. And I know it has to be almost the full length of this. And I'm going to cut it off. Cut with an even pressure, long strokes, don't press down too hard or you'll break the blade. Get close to the end, when it gets real close you can slow down, and I'm actually going to grab a hold of it here so it doesn't fall. It's a little warm, it's getting hot and cutting. There, cut it off. Okay, the next thing I have to do is um, smooth off the surface I just cut with a hacksaw. There's a little burr on one edge. And it's really kind of small to get a hold of, so I've got two nuts here that are the right size. I'm just going to thread this into there and use these nuts as a way to hold on to this little bolt and that way I can put it in the vise here and smooth out that top surface. That's pretty good. Take this back off. Now the other thing I have to do is is clean up that edge. And I, I'm going to try to hold it with my hand here. I'm just going to file it and I'm filing it at about a 45 degree angle and I'm rotating slightly as I file it. to kind of take the burr off that edge so that I'm ready, it'll be ready to use once I finish here. Okay, that's probably good enough. Okay, so now it's ready to go in the final piece. Whoops. And it can go in now. And there's a little slot in it, if you can see that. A little slot fits the screwdriver blade. So now I'll make another one of those. It'll go into the machine and it will the set screw will hold it in place so it can't slide. One other thing I want to show you here is how to clean your file. Sometimes it gets um, built up with the debris in there and there's a special tool called a file comb. These work okay sometimes. You can do that to to uh, clean the debris out, but there's another way too if you don't have one of these, and that's just to take a block of wood that's got a sharp edge or a corner on it and just rub it across and it will clean out the little debris that's in the file. And it works really good. And of course, you know, it's really cheap too. Okay, that's it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this demo.